look, giant Pomni. Skibidi Toilet? But what is he doing here? It's very strange that there are such characters in the Circus Obby map. And now we will use this key to open it and go inside. <laughs> to find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. Sorry guys, I'm a little depressed here because you don't subscribe to our channel. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will go through the most difficult Obby Circus in Roblox. There's a giant Pomni at the end! We definitely need to move forward and go through all these trials. But why is this the hardest obby? Because in the tests in this obby, you really have to think a lot and try to get through them to the end. I find it really quite difficult to get through the spinning things. They spin so fast, I can't imagine how you can run past them. It's very cool that Jax managed to complete this task on the first try. By the way, have you noticed that there is really a very large distance between these white platforms? This obby is no longer made for children, but for more experienced players. And now we have walked along this multicolored plasticine, and ahead of us again, there are multicolored platforms that we will also go through very quickly. Skibidi Toilet? But what is he doing here? It is very strange. This is an obby about our circus. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's just keep going through this obby. Oh, we have to guess the right way here. You need to show intuition. Let's try the left one first. Okay, we're through, and now the right one. Yes. Great! Now we are faced with a difficult test in which we need to jump from platform to platform and not touch these glowing pillars. But Jax can do it very quickly. Come on, Jax! Only one platform left! Great! We did it! Now let's climb those stairs! Wait, what? Why are we moving back? Okay, we climbed up it. Now we need to go forward. Again, white glowing cubes that are located quite far from each other. Well, I can say that this is one of the most difficult obbies I have ever completed in my life, not counting the Tower of Hell. Wait, what? I'm being pushed to the left! It's strange that this platform pushes you to the left. After all, there are no marks on it. What's important is that we managed to pass it. Now let's move on. By the way, back to the topic of the Tower of Hell. There is one character among us who completed it completely. Now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen. Pause this video and try to guess in the comments who it is. I hope you answered correctly, and the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one. And yes, you were right. This is Zubal. Yes, guys! Once upon a time, I completed this game completely. It was the most difficult test of my life. I'm actually surprised that I actually managed to do it. I once tried to play Tower of Hell, and I spent 20 minutes trying to pass the first test. After I failed, I just stopped trying to beat this game and quit it. I think you have to be crazy to beat this game. This is a really very difficult game, but it is much more difficult than the one we are playing now. But I also can't say that this obby is so easy. It's really hard to pass. Let's just move on. By the way, did you notice that on the left side of us, there is a huge house with skibidi toilets and some kind of muscular among us? Let's go up to them and look at them. It's very strange that there are such characters in the Circus Obby map. But in general, the muscular Among Us looks quite strange and funny! Well, let's continue to go through our Obby. There are still many interesting challenges ahead. There's some kind of snake or something like that ahead. Let's get through it as quickly as possible. I can't wait to see challenges harder than what we're going through now. Now, we need to jump over these stairs! Well, this is also a pretty easy task. And now we need to jump over these green platforms. Look. These platforms here are installed in the shape of a flower. Well, this task is also quite easy because it seems to me that it is impossible to fall into this central hole between these small platforms. So far, we're getting through it pretty easily. I hope Jax continues to complete these levels just as quickly. Now the main thing for us is not to step on bad platforms. Well, it's right that you chose to jump on the gray platforms and not on the purple ones. Because if we jumped on the purple ones, we would fall through them. Now let's just keep running forward. I hope we're pretty close to the end of this obby. It's a shame that there is no progress bar like in previous levels, and we can't see how close we are to the finish line. Well, I think the main thing is to just keep running forward and not stop. Now we need to run between these walls as quickly as possible in order to reach the end of this obby! But just look how quickly I go through it! Wow! I was surprised at how I managed to do it. Well, it seems to me that we are already very close to the end of this game. There's only a little left. I think we should run to that huge treehouse. Let's try to get to it as quickly as possible. Again, this staircase that pushes us back. 
To be honest, she always pissed me off. And now we need to go through these tasks in which we need to choose the right path. I'm amazed how Jax manages to always guess the right path. It's really quite difficult. Well, now let's go through some more tests. It seems to me that we are already as close to the finish line as possible. There are only easy tasks ahead. Good thing there are no more tasks with stairs that push us back because this task takes too much time. It's really boring. There's only a little bit left. I'm very interested in what awaits us at the very end. Oh, look. Right in front of us is a giant Pomni. Let's take a look at her. I wouldn't like to dwell on this, but let's at least see what she looks like. Well, she looks pretty funny. And now we can continue further. The finish line is very close. It's very strange that in our circus obby they added only one Pomni model, and nothing else that could be connected with our cartoon. But nevertheless, this obby is quite complex and interesting, so I'm still glad that we played it. Come on, Jax. Push a little more. There are only a few tasks left until the end. By the way, did you notice that there is some kind of huge room with Robux? I wonder what we will get when we enter this room. And here is the end. It's cool that we have a key to this door, and now we will use this key to open it and go inside. Wait, what? Where are our Robux? Why is there some kind of ping pong here? It's quite strange because it requires two players to play it. I was hoping we'd see something different here. Okay, let's go back and try to get ready for this giant treehouse. Maybe there will be something interesting in it, like boosts or other nonsense? And unfortunately not. It's just an ordinary treehouse with absolutely nothing in it. Well, okay, the main thing is that we completed this game completely, and now we can move on to the next game. Wow, this mask is very creepy. It's so good that the Gangle actually doesn't have such a mask. But I would choose the answer, Kinger, because in the Pokemon game, there is a Pokemon Kingler that looks like a crab. Why does he look so much like little Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy? You talked so enthusiastically that you even forgot to write your name correct. Hello, everyone, friends. Today we will play a quiz about an amazing digital circus. I just love this game. Let's try to pass it as soon as possible. Our first task is to guess the character from the poster. I think everything is obvious here. The character on the poster looks a lot like Kafmo. I think this is where it is hidden. Yes, we guessed right. Let's move on to the next one. Purple bunny? Hmm, but I don't even know who could be depicted here. Do you guys know the purple rabbits from our cartoon? There are no purple rabbits in our circus. We only have purple bunnies. I'm already tired of repeating this to you. Guys, this is a poster with my picture. By the way, I'm pretty muscular here. You talk so enthusiastically that you even forgot to write your name correctly. Let's move on to the next poster. Wow, she really looks a lot like herself in real life. Just look at how beautifully they portrayed her. It's Pomni. Great, this was the correct answer. Let's now move on to the next picture. Oh my God, why does he look so much like little Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy? I realize that this is a Kinger, but it really looks more like Groot. Well, let's answer correctly and move on to the next picture. If I hadn't seen this cloak, I wouldn't have realized who it was. Oh my god, just look at this face. Kane, it's good that you look exactly the way you look now, and not the same as in this picture. This is too creepy. Yes, I also think it's very good that I don't look like that. Just look at his crazy eyes. He definitely doesn't look like an entertainer. Gangle has a very round face here. Oh wait, the door opened by itself. Maybe she is reacting to our voice. Let's try to say your name then. Regatta! Regatta! No! Didn't open. What then? Let's write the name in the correct answers. Well, now we will see the last picture. Well, everything is very obvious here. It's clear who is shown in this picture. Guys, pause this video and write in the comments who is shown here. I hope you wrote the correct answer in the comments. You're right, it's me. Now let's move on, guys. It seems to me that we have already completed almost all the quizzes in this game. Let's find a quiz that we haven't taken yet. Look, there is no description in this quiz. There are some gloves drawn here, but who can they belong to? Buddy, I actually have yellow gloves. The correct answer is Jax. Have you really forgotten about this? Well, that was pretty easy. The next picture shows some strange red gift bow. This is very strange because I don't remember a single character who has such a bow. I actually have a bow. Maybe we can try to enter my name? No, that was the wrong answer, unfortunately. Well, let's think logically then. Who else has anything red? I actually have a red hand, but I don't think this answer can be correct. Although, let's try. Maybe we'll get lucky. Unfortunately, no! This answer doesn't suit us either! Well, let's think some more. In general, this red bow consists of red ribbons. 
We have another character in the circus who consists of red ribbons, and this is Gangle. Let's try to write his name. Wow, this was the correct answer. Guys, how did you manage to guess who this bow belongs to? It was quite a difficult task. And now we need to guess who owns this magic wand. I don't even know who has something like that. Maybe we'll choose the answer, Ragatha? You made this choice only because there is purple smoke. I think this is the wrong answer. Oh, it looks like someone answered correctly for us and we came forward. Well, this looks a little like cheating, but nevertheless, we moved on. Crab? It is very strange, but I would choose the answer, Kinger, because in the Pokemon game, there is a Pokemon Kingler that looks like a crab. This was the wrong answer, but I'm sure the correct answer would be Zubal because it has a claw like a crab! It seems to me that Kane is special at solving all sorts of puzzles like this. Well, now we have a chef's hat in front of us, but I remember that our bubble is responsible for food, so we will write a bubble here. And we were right again! This puzzle is very easy because in our circus there is a character whose name is King, and accordingly, he is very connected with the crown. Well, let's now try to enter my name. Maybe this will actually be the right answer. Hooray! We were right, and the last picture shows the face of a clown. Well, I think everything is very easy here. This is Kauf Mo. And we were right again. Well, I think this quiz was more difficult than all the previous ones that we took before. Let's find something more challenging here. It seems to me that we have already passed almost all the quizzes in this game. Let's try to pass another quiz with puzzles. I think since there is a rabbit drawn here, we will choose the Jack's option. I think this quest will be too easy. It's obvious that a bubble is drawn here, and that means the bubble character is encrypted here. Yes, it was too obvious. Well, let's look at the next quiz. And here is a pink doll. Oh, some girl caught up with us and wants to take the quiz with us. Well, let's help her. I think she's hit a wall and doesn't know the right answer. And the correct answer is Regatta. Looks like we really helped her. Oh, she knew the right answer. She just wrote it very slowly. Well, now let's try to answer this quiz correctly. But now this girl is ahead of us. And the correct answer was Kinga. Wait, what's going on? Why do the answers answer themselves one by one? Wow, this mask is very creepy. It's so good that the gangle actually doesn't have such a mask. Let's write the correct answer. The next answer opened itself again. This girl is really smart. But this picture is more complicated. There's an eye here. Wait, did this girl write the correct answer on her own again? Cool. Red triangle. I think the correct answer would be Zubal because she has a triangular head. Cool. We answered all the questions correctly again. Now we need to choose the next quiz. Guess the character by his Roblox avatar. Well, I think that everything is obvious here. Let's write his name and... Yes! This was the correct answer. Listen, it seems to me that this will be easy. Everything is obvious here today. As for me... I think the correct answer here would be Pomni. Great. It was very easy. Oh! Someone opened the whole door for us! Great! Now I think we need to write Zubal. Well, let's try to write it. She really looks a lot like you. The only thing that gives it away is the oval head sticking out from under your triangular head. Wait, Jax. Did you actually write the name Pomni? Do you really think she looks like her? Hooray! Great! This was the correct answer! This is a very easy quiz. Here the characters are not veiled in any way. Let's write the correct answer here and move on. And this is Regatta. Cool. It's very easy for us today. Well, now you need to correctly guess this guy's name. Who do you think this is, Jax? But it's all obvious. It's a gangle. Okay, let's try to write this name. Yes, we were right. Well, that was very easy. We only have two questions left and we know the answers to them. Let's try to go through this much faster and complete this quest to the end. What kind of strange big-eared guy is this? I think it's Jax! Great! This was the correct answer. Well, the last question. The answer to this will be quite easy, I think. Wait, Jax, did you really spell his name wrong? Seriously? Actually correct, C-A-I-N-E. I think it's time for Jax to get some spelling lessons. Okay, this quiz is over. Now we can try to guess the next quiz. Well, let's go to him. I think we need to choose some more difficult quiz. Can you guess the character by his mouth? Hmm. Whose mouth do you think this is? It actually looks like some kind of black moon in a white sky or something like that. Are you guys serious? It's my mouth! Okay, let's write your name. Yes, we answered correctly. Well, that was very easy. But then it's a little more complicated. Just look at that jaw and white teeth. 
I only know one character in our circus who has a jaw and white teeth. And it's Kane. Cool. We answered correctly. It was very easy. Wait, this is very similar to the iron ingot from Minecraft. I can't even imagine whose mouth this is. Maybe we can try writing Pomni's name? Yes, and we turned out to be right. Well, that was very easy. Only two mouths left. Look at that mouth. I don't understand who it could belong to. Could it be Ragatha? Yes, and this was the correct answer! Wait, what? Completely pink question? Hmm, who among us all could have such a mouth? Well, for example, my mouth is not visible, so I think you can write my name. Well, let's try it. And yes, that was the correct answer. Listen, this was also a very easy quiz. Let's find something really challenging. I saw nearby there were quizzes in which you need to squint your eyes. And here he is, squint your eyes to guess the character part two. Well, let's try. Okay, I narrowed my eyes. Who is this? I think it's very similar to Zubal. Yes, we were right. It was very easy. Okay, now I'm trying to squint my eyes and I can't see anything. Guys, maybe you know the correct answer? Let's check our viewers. Maybe our viewers will answer correctly who is shown in this picture? Well, okay. Guys, pause the video and write the correct answer in the comments. You will help us a lot with this. Well, did you squint your eyes? Great. Now let's see the correct answer. Yes, guys. You were right. It's me. Cool. Now we move on to the next picture. This picture isn't that complicated. Here is a huge ball with lightning. Its silhouette is very similar to a bubble. Well, let's try entering the name of the bubble here. Maybe you really will be right. And we guessed right again. We are real professionals in this game. Well, here are two mountains drawn at the foot of which there is some strange dude and two islands flying in the sky. What could it be? Bubble, how many times have we already asked you to fix your microphone? And this image is absolutely exactly me. I am sure about that. Write my name and you definitely won't go wrong. Just look, he really got it right. To be honest, I didn't notice the real picture even when I squinted my eyes. And here I am absolutely sure that Kane is drawn. I recognize these eyes from all the eyes in the world. Just this time, try to write my name correctly and not like you did last time. Bro, are you serious? Why did you decide to write the wrong title? Maybe you forgot how to spell my name again? Relax, I'm just kidding. I was thinking maybe there is some kind of bug in this game and it actually counts all the answers. But as you can see, this is not so. And now I wrote your name correctly and we moved forward. Damn, it looks like half of our cart is hanging over the abyss now. This look scares me madly. It feels like she's about to grab us with her hand, after which she's gonna eat us. We're driving sideways again like it's some kind of drift cart or something. Oh no, we fell. This guy still decided not to listen to our advice and flew down. Hello everyone, friends. Today we will ride a cart straight into Pomni's mouth. Whoa, look, there are skins here. Wait, is that me? I look very strange. Well, okay, let's get in the cart and go forward. Wow, the carts look a little different in this game. Just look at this. Is that the Pomni's face on the back in front of this cart? Yeah, it looks pretty weird, but it's funny. Wait, did you see how big this track is? It seems to me that we will be climbing it forever. Well, I hope that we will be able to drive it completely today. There are a lot of sharp turns here. Don't forget to watch the speed jacks. Yes, this track looks much more difficult than the one we played before. Well, we love difficulties, and that means we will try very hard today. Look, there are three guys riding after each other. We need to try not to crash into them, but it seems to me that one of them is forming a traffic jam there. Well, now we'll get closer to them and find out. I hope that these guys will not slow down and will drive forward. It seems to me that we will now have to stand with them because these guys are taking too long. Well, let's slow down a little. Oh, I think they started moving faster. Maybe this means that they have overcome this traffic jam and will now drive fast. No! It seems to me that they will still remain just as slow. Well, I hope that they will begin to fall one by one and clear the way for us. Wait, are we stuck? Oh no, not this! I don't think it's a good idea to go back! Oh no, we fell! Well, now we have to start again. I hope it won't be too long. Let us now be reborn and start again. But this time we will control the speed on all corners of this track. This guy spawned a cart for us. Let's sit in it. I hope he doesn't sit down with us. I don't want anyone to be an extra burden on our cart. I think this is the right decision. Now let's just speed up and try to get to the top of this location without falling even once. Have you forgotten that we agreed not to drive too fast and to control the speed on all turns? It is very important for us. We can't fall down. 
The sky still decided not to listen to our advice and flew down. Well, oh, just look. It's the giant Pomni watching us again. Her look is very creepy. Oh, no. We're going straight into a corner and I forgot to slow down. Damn, it looks like half of our cart is hanging over the abyss now. Now it will be much more difficult for us to move forward. This is why I told you that it is important to slow down before turns. Now we need to be as careful as possible everywhere in order not to fly off this route. This look scares me madly. It feels like she's about to grab us with her hand, after which she's going to eat us. Didn't it seem strange to you at all that we were now drifting all the way as if we were driving a Japanese GDM car? Just look how huge this track is. I'm afraid that we won't be able to drive it all the way when our cart went off the rails. I think if we continue to control the speed at each turn, we will still be able to do it. A very winding path awaits us ahead. Maybe we should drive it all the way at low speed? Oh no, we're already stuck. We managed to drive forward, and it seems to me that we are now driving at the same speed with which we would never fall in our lives. Need to concentrate on riding. Oh no, we're stuck again. But it's good that it wasn't for long. The road ahead is very winding. I really hope that we will be able to drive this route and not fall down. The main thing is not to speed up because this whole route consists of turns. It was quite difficult and slow, but I did it. A small climb awaits us ahead. The main thing is to drive it as carefully as possible. Great, we managed to do it. Now, let's climb this giant spiral climb. And now we are already at the top. Great! Now we have a few more climbs to climb. This route is really very long. It is much longer than the route we took last time. I'm very interested in what awaits us at the end. It would be great if at the end we were given a large number of boosts with which we could fly all over this route and prevent other players from completing this game. I really hope so too. But now the main thing is not to think about the finish and concentrate on the game so that we still manage to pass it and not fall down. We're driving sideways again like it's some kind of drift cart or something. But we started getting stuck very often due to this unusual position of the cart. It's a little annoying. We are getting closer and closer to the finish line. It seems to me that we will still be able to complete this game to the end today. At least that would be very cool. I'd rather see what's at the end. Wait, just don't tell me that this huge piece of the route is still waiting for us. Oh my god, this is much more difficult than I thought. I was hoping that this route would be much shorter. Well, let's still try to get through it to the very end. I thought I had already seen part of the finishing room just now. It seems to me that there will really be a huge number of boosts. We just need to go forward and not stop. Oh, looks like we're back in the place where all the carts get stuck. I think it will be very difficult to get through it. Unfortunately, it is impossible to pass it only if we gain great speed. Let's stop and try to push this cart to its maximum. Perhaps we can overcome this obstacle at high speed? Oh no, we've gone too fast. Jax, we need to slow down and slow down, otherwise we will definitely fly off this track. We slowed down, but this cart still flies faster than a rocket. I think it's broken. We need to try stopping again and slowing down. The main thing is not to overdo it with this button, otherwise we may go back. The main thing is that we don't fly off this route. Oh no, that's exactly what happened. We were so close to the finish line and fell down. This time it is truly the most difficult track we have ever played. Therefore I think that we should try to switch to another mode and try to complete it completely. Have you noticed that one of his hands is blocked and now he shoots from it all the time? Dog day again? Wow! Just look at this guy! He's trying so hard to catch up with us. Only a couple of shots left! Don't stop shooting! Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Dog Day Prison Escape. Yes, but today we are not playing alone because today our subscriber will play with us. And if you guys want to play with us and get into our video, then you need to do a few simple steps. You need to like, subscribe to our channel, write your Roblox nickname in the comment, and then send a request to be added as a friend to our profile. We will select one random subscriber and invite him to join us in the lobby to play Roblox together. Therefore, if you want to get into our video, just follow a few simple requirements and we will definitely invite you to our video. So now let's concentrate on completing this map. Just look at our subscriber. She completes all the tasks quite easily. Well done. Now let's go see the first boss. We already know that the first boss will be Dog Day. Let's try to get past him and not fall into his clutches. I hope we can do this. We've already escaped from these bosses many times, and I think this boss will be no exception. 
Well, let's now just take the stairs and climb to the very top. I think it will be easy for us. Just look at this guy! He's trying so hard to catch up with us, but he's not succeeding! Looks like our subscriber is having some difficulties. Well, I'm sure she should catch up with us soon. She did it! She caught up with us. Well, let's now go with her to the room with toilets. Now we will need to go through the obby dungeons with her. Great! We're in a room with toilets! Let's choose the second booth, take a shovel, and dig this tunnel into the dungeon. This is the easiest task in this game. There is nothing complicated here. Great! We found ourselves in a dungeon. Now we need to get through this obby ASAP. This task will also be easy for us. I hope for our subscriber, too. Oh, I don't think so. She fell. Well, let's wait for her. She writes that she is scared. Hey, buddy, don't worry so much. It's all just a game. We will definitely be able to pass it. We made it! Great! Now we need to cross this bridge with black puddles. Oh, I think she didn't notice this black puddle and accidentally stepped on it. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Now we'll just move forward. Well, let's now pass this obby and quickly hurry up to run through the long tunnel with the rolling boulder. In fact, we have already spent quite a lot of time. During this time, we could manage to complete the game twice, but our subscriber is not very good at dealing with obstacles in our way. Well, if she trains, then everything will work out much better for her. Now let's hurry up and pass this rolling boulder test. Just look at this location. Usually map creators make these tunnels black or gray, but here it is yellow and there are buildings on the walls. Well, this is very cool. Yes, I also really like how they worked on the design of this location. It looks really very nice. It's very rare that map creators try so hard in their games. Great! We have almost passed this test to the end, and now we will see the night boss in this game. Dog day again? Wow! This guy decided to try out all the roles in this game. How cool is this? And now we deceived him again. And now we go to the tower with dilapidated steps. I just now noticed that we have been playing for 2,800 seconds. Well, today we definitely won't be able to set a record, but this is all just because we tried to go through this map with our subscriber. Yes, but there's nothing wrong with that. I am very glad that we communicate with our subscribers. They are very cool guys for following us. We have a question for you, dear subscribers. Which of us do you think decided to create this channel and start recording gaming videos? Now the shadow of this character will appear on your screen, and you pause this video and write in the comments who it was. Well, guys, did you post your answer in the comments? I hope you did it, and we're right. And the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one, and yes, it was me. Great job, guys, and now we're doing the energy drink race, which means that we are getting closer and closer to the boss chef. The end of the race is very close. This test is the coolest, but not the easiest in this game. I really like it. But the task with the stairs is the stupidest task in this game. It always infuriates me that we almost never managed to jump into this ventilation the first time. Oh my god, just look, this time it worked. This is probably the first time this has happened since we've been playing Barry's Prison Escape. It's so good that all the tedious tasks are left behind. Now we have a race ahead of us with fans, after which we will go straight to the wind tunnel. I hope Jax has enough skill to pass this test the first time. Don't worry, buddy. I completed this task 1,000 times, and I can complete it the thousand first time without any problems. I'm really pro at this game, and nothing will make me stop. Just look how he does those jumps. Jax, looks like you're really good at this game. It seems to me that we can really try to set records here. I'm sure we can do it. Now let's go to the boss cook. Here he is. It's dog day again. This time he's in the role of the chef's boss. Let's quickly go to arms and defeat him. I hope this boss won't be as buggy as the previous chef bosses who like to get stuck in tables. Don't forget to shoot him right in the head, Jax. This way you deal more damage to him. The main thing is that he doesn't come too close to us. Need to maintain a safe distance. Only a couple of shots left. Don't stop shooting. Well done, Jax. You did it very quickly. This boss dog is some real noob. He moves very slowly. We only have a few steps left to do. We need to climb this wind tunnel through the lasers and complete the task with the bridges. I hope you cope with this task the first time. They changed the design of this wind tunnel. She's all yellow. It's like we're walking up a chimney or something. It's very strange that there are lasers in the chimney, isn't it? Only one laser left to overcome. We handled it very easily. Basically the same as always. Now let's do the bridge challenge. This is the only task we have left to complete before meeting the final boss. The main thing is to use a life hack with which we will complete this task very quickly. You're doing it right, Jax. You must first throw all the bridges down and then place them between the platforms. This is the right decision. We dealt with it very quickly. 
Now let's defeat the final boss, Dog Day. Wait, is he standing in one place again? Oh my god! When will the creators of the map learn to make sure that the final boss doesn't stop but tries to catch up with us? This, of course, makes our task much easier. But because of this, the final boss fights become very boring. Wait, have you noticed that one of his hands is blocked and now he shoots from it all the time? Just look at this. It looks very funny. The main thing is not to come close to these shells. Well, let's now shoot at the second hand. There are only a few shots left to defeat him. We did it. Great, Jax. Well done. You shoot very accurately. I really love Dog Day, and that's why I really like this map. Now let's move on to the next game. Wait, is this Kaufmo? How did you even get stuck in this table, buddy? Just look. Is this a pregnant Pomni? Oh my god. This is also Zubal. And she is also very pot-bellied. They really look like they're pregnant. That this is the biggest boss in all the Barry prison escapes. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Escape from our amazing digital circus. This map is a little different from the previous one we played, but nevertheless we were told that it would be a little more difficult. Look! There are unusual platforms there. They extend and levitate. I think it will be really more difficult than what we went through earlier. I like that the map creators really experiment and bring something new to the game. It really added a lot of variety to the gameplay. I really hope they change the bosses at least a little. Last time the bosses were quite detailed and very similar to us. I wonder what they will be like this time. Oh my god, just look. Is this a pregnant Pomni? Why is she so pot-bellied then? She's really very pot-bellied here. Well, I hope because of this she will run after us more slowly and will not catch up with us. I think she's catching up with us. Oh, looks like it. She followed us up to the second floor. Well, I think we can easily escape from her. Great. The first boss is behind us. I really hope they didn't make all the bosses so pot-bellied. Otherwise, it would be too weird. Now we need to run to the room with toilets. Let's try to set a record and not open other doors, but just open the one that actually has a tunnel in it. I definitely remember that the tunnel is in toilet stall number two. Yes, he ended up here. That's cool. Let's go through both of these dungeons now. You mean a dungeon with platforms and a tunnel with a rolling boulder? By the way, look, they changed the obby. Here you need to jump on these platforms and press the button. This is much cooler than a dilapidated bridge and a bridge with some strange liquid. We've almost completed this obby, and now we're facing the rolling boulder challenge. This is one of the easiest challenges in this game. But first we need to jump on this garbage that someone threw into the lava. By the way, what is this anyway? It looks like some kind of baskets and server racks. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's just try to quickly get through this tunnel with a rolling boulder, and we will meet the boss knight. I'm very interested in who will be the boss of the night in this mode. Well, now we find out. Last time we played Escape from our circus, this boss was Zubal. Now we will see who will be here. Oh my god. This is also Zubal. And she is also very pot-bellied. Well, she looks very funny. They really look like they're pregnant. Crap! She got stuck and now we have to wait until she lays down to run around her and go to the tower with dilapidated steps. Great, we ran around it. And now we need to quickly run to this tower with dilapidated steps. Let's hurry up. We've already gone quite far, and it only took us 170 seconds. Now we have a race with energy drinks. And here comes the energy drink vending machine. Wow. I really love this obby with energy drinks, because everything happens so fast here. This is very cool. I wish the entire mode could be completed at that speed. By the way, guys, what character do you think edits our videos? Now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen, and you pause this video and write in the comments who it could be. Well, guys, did you write a comment? I hope you answered correctly. The correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one, and yes. You were right again. It's Gangle. Great job, guys. Well done. And now we have a race with fans ahead of us. This is also one of the easiest tasks in this mode. We have never managed to lose on it. I think I can easily pass this test. I have passed this test many times already and have never failed. I really want to set a record this time. So far, we're doing pretty well. And now we are waiting for those same tedious tests with valves that infuriate us so much. It would be great if they changed this task at least a little. Well, now we'll check it. Let's quickly make our way through these pipes to the very top and see what awaits us there. Oh, just look! They even added levitating cubes here. Well, it really diversified this game a little, like these pipes instead of the platforms that were here before. Well, that was pretty easy, but very boring. Now let's quickly go to the race with the fans. 
This is also one of my favorite obbies in this game because here we also have to run pretty fast. Yes, I completely agree with you. It's really a lot of fun and one of the most interesting challenges in this game. Now we need to be as concentrated as possible because we are really coping with this game very quickly and we can set a record in it. We finally got to the cafeteria. Wait, is this Kaufmo? I was hoping to see anyone here, but not him. It is very funny. Wait, is it stuck in the table? Oh my god, Kaufmo, you are as useless as always. How did you even get stuck in this table, buddy? Are you serious? Come on, maybe you can at least try to run after us a little. It finally happened. Well, I thought that he would stand on this table forever. In any case, we will kill him pretty quickly because this is one of the easiest bosses in the game. And also, because it's Kaufmo! He was always so slow. Well, let's deal with him as quickly as possible and move forward. We have very little time left before meeting the final boss. I also think that we need to speed up a little because we are very close to setting a new record. Now we will find ourselves in a wind tunnel with lasers. And after that, we will need to go to the location where there is a task with bridges. Well, there are only two simple steps left before meeting the final boss. And we have almost passed this tunnel with lasers. Just a little left. This task is also quite easy, but it is not the easiest in this game because several times we managed to die by touching the lasers. And here is the task with bridges. Wait, did they remove the need to install bridges here and just leave platforms? Okay, this will be pretty easy. Let's jump over them and go to the final boss. And here comes the final boss robot Kane. Just look how huge it is. It seems to me that this is the biggest boss you've ever seen. Yes, it also seems to me that this is the biggest boss in all the Barry prison escapes. This boss doesn't need to shoot off his arms, just shoot him in the body. But it's very strange that he doesn't even try to shoot at us, but just runs after us. Nevertheless, we dealt with it very easily. Well, we managed to complete this map in 500 seconds. It was pretty easy. Now let's move on to the next game. Wait, is this really me? But where are my eyes? Kane, buddy, what did they do to you? Wow, now we're just like a fire-breathing dragon. Um, what car? Seriously? Just look! We have some kind of bazooka or something like that in our inventory. Shoot him, Jax! We can't let this guy get ahead of us in this test! Kill him as soon as possible? Great! We did it! Oh no, I think he has a bazooka. Hello everyone, friends, and today we are playing the amazing Digital Circus Obby. Wait, is this really me? But where are my eyes? Kane, buddy, what did they do to you? Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's just go ahead and see what challenges await us here. Everything here is so colorful. This is very similar to the design of our circus. I wonder what awaits us at the end. I hope they give us some really cool prize or something. I hope that at the end they will give us some boosts with which we can stop some guys from playing like we did last time. Sorry, am I disturbing you too much? Oh no, I think you fell. Well, let's go forward and hope. It is quite possible that we will also be given the opportunity to do this here. By the way, have you noticed that we have already been given some kind of loot? It's an energy drink and some weird teddy bear. Well, that doesn't really help us troll other guys. Maybe they will give us something better? We have a spring for a high jump. True, this won't really help us troll. But they also gave us some kind of Tabasco, which made us smoke with fiery breath. Wow, now we're just like a fire-breathing dragon. This is great. I hope we can hurt someone with this thing. Um... What? Car? Seriously? Now can we pass this obby by car? This is very cool. Jax, be careful! It's still a car! It is not designed to be driven on such a surface! Now do you understand that you can't drive a car on such tests? Wait, we're already at stage 26, but we're only 4% through this obby. I think it should work a little differently. We definitely won't get through it to the end today. By the way, look, we now have a grappling hook. But Jax, unfortunately, does not know how to use it. Let's try to go as far as possible without boosts. It seems to me that they only hinder us. It would be great if we were given a spiral acceleration. We could go really far with her. I want to try to drive along this road by car. Oh my god, I don't think I can do this. This car is uncontrollable. It seems to me that the problem is that you just don't know how to drive. Let's try to drive this route by car. I think this is a bad idea. Let's keep going through this obby like we always do. Oh wait, they gave us some kind of dinosaur. Um. Dinosaur on the head? It's very strange, but okay, let's just go ahead. It seems to me that we can use a car in this tunnel and take off on it like a springboard. Let's try this, Jax. 
I can't believe we're actually flying. This is very cool. Well, I think we're flying too far and now we might go off the track. Who would have thought this really happened? Well, that was pretty obvious. It's good that we managed to fly through several stages. This really helped us. Oh, just look. This is a slide like in a water park. This is very cool. I really enjoy this challenge. By the way, guys, there's one character among us who simply loves water parks. Now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen and you pause this video and write in the comments who it could be. So guys, have you guessed who it is? Okay, then the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one. And yes, you guessed it right again. It's a bubble. Great guys, it was pretty easy. Now let's continue to go through this obby. Jax, are you serious about using the car again? I don't think this is the best solution. Well, that's what I was talking about. Okay, let's continue to get through this on our own. We're at stage 43 and we're already 72% of the way through this game. Well, this is very cool. I hope we can go even further. Just look. We have some kind of bazooka or something like that in our inventory. Let's find someone and try it out. Let's check how she shoots. Oh, it seems to me that we aimed slightly in the wrong direction. Let's hit that target now. Yes, she shoots very cool. In addition to this, we also have an acceleration spiral. With its help, we can pass all these tests very quickly. Wow, we really accelerated a lot. But it seems to me that every time the completion percentage of this game is constantly falling because we are already at the 61st stage and we have completed only 44% of this game. Why do they keep giving the wrong percentages? It is very strange. Well, let's hurry up and try to get to the end of this game as quickly as possible. I really hope that we can complete it completely today. That would be very cool. I think that here we can use a spring for a strong jump so that we don't have to constantly guess the correct passage. Yes, it was the best decision. Well, now we can get to the finish line much faster. Great. We completed this task very quickly. I'm really looking forward to testing our bazooka in action. By the way, look, there's a guy taking a test right in front of us. We need to catch up with him and kill him. Shoot him, Jax! We can't let this guy get ahead of us in this test. Great, we're getting into it. This is a very easy target for us. I think we missed several hits. I think we need to close the distance with him. Let's pass this test with notes and try to catch up with him. Look, this guy stands in one place. I think now is the best time to shoot him and send him behind us. Do not stop. Shoot Jax, kill him as soon as possible. Great, we did it. Now we can run forward. I hope he doesn't have a bazooka and won't shoot at us. Let's turn around and take a look. Oh no, I think he has a bazooka. Damn, he hit us. Let's try to dodge his projectiles and try to hit him. Maybe we can kill him a second time and escape from him. I think now we can use the car to quickly get away from him, but this turn really confuses me. Jax, will you ever learn to drive this car? Let's try again. Maybe we can actually drive away in it? I think using a car is the worst decision in this game, but for some reason you keep trying to drive it to the finish line. Guys, this car is out of control. You won't be able to drive it far. Better use an acceleration spiral or something like that to overcome this challenge. Okay, let's just go ahead. Maybe we can get to the end with the help of this dinosaur? By the way, fireworks appeared in our inventory, but it seems to me that this is the most useless thing we could ever get. Well, I don't think we'll be able to get to the end of this game because it's endless. The percentage of completion of this game constantly drops to zero, and it's as if we are starting to go through it all over again. I think we should move on to the next game. I think you're right, because I'm sure that when I reach the end of this challenge, my completion percentage will drop to zero again. Well, okay, let's just move on to the next game. Maybe it will be more interesting? It actually looks like some kind of black moon in a white sky or something like that. This is very similar to the iron ingot from Minecraft. What kind of strange big-eared guy is this? I think it's Jax! Maybe it's a bubble because there's water here? What the f is this piece of sh Let's try to guess which character is depicted here. I can see immediately from the first try that this character is very similar to Jax. Well, let's try to write his name. Yes, that was the correct answer! Cool! Wait here, fireworks and everything pink? I only know one pink character in our circus, so I'll enter the name Zubal. Yes, that was the correct answer again. We're coping pretty easily today. It's very easy here too. Here is a black smile on a white background. I only know one character who has a similar face. He looks a lot like a gangle. 
Well, that was also the correct answer. Today everything is very easy. Wait, but who's here? I really don't understand who this looks like. Maybe it's a bubble because there's water here? No, we are wrong. Hmm, maybe it's Kofmo then? Also incorrect. Guys, write in the comments who you see here. Personally, I can't make sense of this image. Okay guys, pause the video and write your answer in the comments. Don't forget to squint your eyes to see the answer better. I hope you have already written your correct answer and guessed it right. Now I will write the correct answer to this question. And it was Ragatha. Everything was very simple. But here the obvious correct answer is Kane. Super! We did it on the first try. And the last question for today, who is shown in this picture? I think it looks a lot like Pomni because of those things she has on her hat. Let's enter her name and yes, we were right again. Well, that was a pretty easy quiz. Next time we'll go through the hardest quiz in this game. Now let's move on to the next game. I still have too many questions for this guy. Just look at this muscular guy. Wow, Jax, where did you learn to dance so cool? Do you even see how this guy who is lying on the floor is spinning? He hangs out very strangely. Wait, did he actually go through the elevator? Seriously? Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Scary Elevator again. This elevator is completely different from the ones we played before. Everything looks completely different here. Well, let's see what awaits us in this game. Oh my god, what's wrong with us? We are so huge! Wait, what is this corridor? Oh, this is Lil Pump and Kanye West! I remember this clip, this song has been popular for a very long time. Okay, the first floor was pretty weird. By the way, guys, do you know who the biggest fan of these performers among us is? Now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen, and you pause this video and write in the comments who it could be. Well, guys, you wrote your comment, and great! And now the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one. And yes, you were right. This is Zubal. Well, let's see what awaits us ahead. I hope that there will be quite interesting floors with interesting loot. Okay, here's the next floor. Wait, is that Obby? Wow! I'm wondering, will we be able to get through to the end? Let's try to pass this Obby on the first try. Well, the first attempt was unsuccessful, but I think this obby is quite heavy. Everything here is very bright, and because of this, it is difficult to perform some jumps here. Come on, Jax, try better. We need to find out what's at the end of this obby. Maybe they will give us some rewards. By the way, have you noticed that we have some coins in the lower left corner? I wonder what these coins can buy. I'll have to check what's in the store for this game. Jax, why can't you pass this obby? You are a professional in passing such maps. Unfortunately, this time, we didn't succeed. Well, that's okay. We will definitely come back here next time and complete it to the end. And now, we will find out what awaits us on the next floor. I hope there will be something really interesting there. Okay, here's the next floor. There is some kind of additional door here, and there is an invisible wall through which we are not allowed. But why did that guy get in? It is very strange. Do you even see how this guy who is lying on the floor is spinning? He hangs out very strangely. Wait, what? Is our floor falling in? It was very strange. I hope that next time they will let us through the invisible wall and we will be able to get through these strange doors. Now let's wait for the next floor. Wow. This is some kind of blue location and some speaker is telling us something. Oh my god, I think this is the ghost floor. I think we need to be careful. I wouldn't really want to go inside there. Yes, everything here looks really creepy. It's strange that some invisible wall is again preventing us from entering this floor. Well, I don't really want to listen to this speaker. He says some very mysterious, mystical nonsense. Let's just wait for the next floor. Wait, are we stuck in the ceiling? What is going on? Do you see how this elevator is shaking? Oh my god, it was quite strange. Well, I hope there won't be any bugs on the next floor. Okay, let's see what the next floor has in store for us. Wait, is there an option to use emotions here? Look, we can sit. Cool, let's walk the entire next floor while sitting. I think it will be very cool. I wonder what floor will be next. Okay, just look. Here, everything is blue again. It looks like some kind of platforms. Is this going to be a dance competition? This strange dog tells us that now we will compete in a dance. Okay, we were teleported to these platforms. And now we will need to choose the right color. Well, let's start the dance. But it seems to me that this song is not very suitable for a dance competition. Rather, it is suitable for some kind of anime opening or something like that. I really hope that we will be able to take some prizes. 
I think we dance very cool and manage to click on the right platforms. Wow, Jax! Where did you learn to dance so cool? It seems to me that in order to manage to click on different colored platforms in time, you need real skill. You have a very good reaction. But I still think the guy doing it to our left does it a little better. Let's see what our result is. Well, no big deal. This was our first attempt. I think if we go to this floor again, we will definitely take a prize. Now let's move on. I think we should turn off this emotion and try to walk. Look what a convenient place I came up with for myself. Okay, okay, let's turn off the emotion and continue running. I wonder what test awaits us on the next floor. Wow, everything turned black and white. Wait, is it me or is there a train coming in the distance? He's coming straight at us. Oh, I think I need to move to the wall. Wait, did he actually go through the elevator? Seriously? He made a hole in the walls of the elevator. I think this was the strangest floor we've seen today. Well, I hope that the next floor will be at least a little more understandable. Maybe we can get something interesting there. I mean loot or something like that. Okay, it's a black hole! Wait, is it just me or is our viewing angle changing? I don't understand. Are we getting smaller or bigger or what's going on? Why is everything stretched out? It was fascinating but very strange. Yes, I completely agree. This one is too mystical. Well, it's a pity that there was no loot here. Let's now move on to the next floor. Oh, just look. This guy has some funny emotions. I wonder how we can open them. I'd love to show off my muscles, too. Well, here's the next floor. Look, there are cows in very pleasant weather. They look pretty funny. But what to do with them? It's just some cow pasture. Uh, I think we need to sit on one of the cows. Wait, why is this guy standing right with this sheep? What is he doing? Okay. I think we'll just sit on this cow and enjoy the beautiful weather. I still have too many questions for this guy. Okay, that's over too. And now let's wait on the next floor. Everything has gotten so dark here. Who turned off the light? Oh no, looks like our elevator is broken. Well, it seems that we will have to wait until this elevator is repaired and we get out of here. Look, some kind of hole. Could this be a fire exit? But I think not. We just fell somewhere. Wait, did we fall into the elevator again? But where is the guy with the cool emotions? Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just wait for the next floor. This floor is like a beach floor. Wait, I recognize this sound. Moto Moto, will he emerge from the water now? Damn, this is very cool. Just look at this muscular guy. Oh my God, is this really a Moto Moto noob? God, he has such a cool figure. I want to become as muscular as him. Okay, looks like he'll be riding in this elevator with us. Well, I really like it. And now let's move on to the next game. There's a Zubal and some digitized guy. Wait, did you fall? Really? But why did this happen? You were driving very slowly. Oh no! I think this guy is going to kill us now! Yes, I was right! We're going straight to Jax's mouth! Just look how fast we are moving towards the finish line! Hello everyone, friends! Today we will ride the cart again, but this time we will ride in my mouth. To be honest, I liked riding in Pomni's mouth more. Well, let's get in the cart and see what awaits us ahead. I hope that Jax remembers that here you definitely need to slow down before turns, otherwise we may fly off this track. I hope we can complete this route the first time. Oh, just look, there's a Zubal and some digitized guy. It's strange why he got to the surface. The last one to be digitized was Kaufmo, and we hit him in the basement. Yes, this is really very strange. But I'm very glad that I see myself in the second game in a row. I love it. I didn't think there would be so much attention to me. Just look. There at the end is the very Jax to which we are going. Well, I hope that this route will not cause us any difficulties. I think we're doing pretty well so far. The main thing is not to forget to slow down on all turns ahead. Otherwise, we will be eaten by the Glonic Queen. Did you really just call her the Glonic Queen? Okay, it doesn't matter. Look, they made a mini obstacle here. But I'm very attentive, and that's why I was able to overcome it. Just look how high this climb is. It seems to me that we will rise forever. Wait, did you fall? Really? But why did this happen? You were driving very slowly. It's good that we have a sword, and now we will defend ourselves from these guys. Wait, did he touch us? Oh no, we can now be digitized. Damn, we urgently need to find a way out of here. Oh no, I think this guy is going to kill us now. Yes, I was right. Well, let's try to start again. Maybe we can get to the very top on our second try. The main thing is to drive very slowly on the climb so that we don't fly off this road again. The main thing is not to rush. Jax is constantly in a hurry to get to the finish line, but because of this, he loses. Buddy, 
Be as careful as possible and control your speed. This is your main task. Yes, it's very funny that the creators of this map added several small challenges in the middle of the race. We may accidentally miss them and fall down. I see Jax really trying this time and slowing down before every turn. Well done, Jax. I really want to finish this game today. I think we started going too slow. This speed is really slower than the speed of a turtle. I would like us to speed up a little, but unfortunately, I know that we can't do this because we could lose again. Guys, stop giving me different requests all the time. You either ask to increase the speed or reduce it. I don't know what I need to do anymore. The only thing I know is that I need to go up this climb as slowly as possible because last time I fell down it. I really hope that this time we won't fall off it. This is truly one of the most dangerous places in all of these roller coasters. The main thing is to keep the minimum speed and just go up. By the way, guys, there is one character among us who simply loves racing games and high speed. Now his shadow will appear on the screen and you try to pause and guess who it is. Well, guys, did you write your answer in the comments? Great! Well done! And now the correct answer will appear in three, two, one, and yes, you were right. This is a gangle. I just love racing games like Gran Turismo or Forza. The guys gave me a gaming steering wheel and pedals for my last birthday. And now I play these games all the time. I'm a huge fan of everything related to cars and speed. Great! We're finally at the top! I think that it's not worth increasing the speed yet because at any moment we can fall and we don't know if there are hidden obstacles from the developers here. The main thing now is not to accidentally lose sight of them. We're already about halfway there. I hope nothing happens now that will make us fall down. Otherwise I will be very angry. I really don't want to lose because we have come far enough. Look guys, just a little left. Here are the last climbs and look, there's a secret obstacle ahead again. Oh cool. There's also a miniature Jax waiting for us. He really looks a lot like Jax when he smiles. I've never seen Jax genuinely smile. Usually he smiles extremely maliciously and very unkindly. It's funny that here they decided to portray Jax as cheerful and not angry or sad. Stop talking bad about him. He really tries. By the way, look. All we have to do is drive along this straight line and we will be at the very finish. The main thing is not to forget to regulate the speed. Otherwise, we may end up at the bottom and be eaten by gloinks. I think you and I have a slightly different idea of straight lines. Perhaps you wanted to say that we will no longer have ups and downs here? Well, last time we played, our cart was hanging halfway over the abyss. This time we are going very smoothly, and I think nothing will stop us from reaching the finish line. Oh my god, just look! We are almost right at the finish line. We're going straight to Jax's mouth. Now there is an obby ahead of us. Let's get through it quickly. Just look, they gave us a speed spring. This means that now we can go through these buildings much faster. Jax, quickly take it, and let's run forward. Wow, just look how quickly we started moving forward. Why didn't we use this thing last time? We could go through this entire obby in seconds. Yes, just look how fast we are moving towards the finish line. But don't forget to be careful. Otherwise, we may end up at the very bottom. We are already at the very top. It happens so fast. I don't even have time to notice how quickly our progress bar is moving. Yes. I also really like how quickly we go through all these tests. I wonder if they changed the final task in this game or not? I think no. They left it the same. But I can't say it's bad, because I really like the boosts they give at the very end. Well, in any case, we will check it very soon. A spiral staircase awaits us ahead. I think you should be as careful as possible on it because with one awkward movement, you can fly to the very bottom. Jax moves quite confidently, and now we are faced with a test in which we need to choose the right passages. But seriously, did you just go ahead and win? I think this was the easiest task in this game. Well, great! We have reached the finish line. Just look. Yes, they haven't changed anything, but I think we'll sit on the Ferris wheel. Yes, this game was quite interesting. I liked her very much, and I liked even more that they chose me as the main character. Now we're on to the next game. I'm a real handsome guy here. How does it feel when you shoot by yourself? It's a little weird. Oh, wow, this is really me. It's Pomni. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will escape from our amazing digital circus. This looks like my bedroom. But wait, how do they know what my bedroom looks like? What's going on here anyway? Well, the standard start, as in all Barry Prison Run. Let's see how hard they worked on the design of this map. Wow! Everything here is so colorful. I've never seen them make everything so colorful. I really like the beginning. 
Who do you think they made as the first boss? I would really like to see myself as the boss of one of the stages. Well, we have to find out now, but I really doubt that you were made one of the bosses, Kinger. You're right! Here comes the first boss! It's Pomni! I still don't lose hope that I will see myself in the place of one of the bosses of this mode. She has a very creepy and empty look, as if she just found out that she has no way out of this circus. Yes, I also remember her surprised expression on her face. Have you heard this scream? God, my voice isn't that rough. Why did they decide to choose this particular sound? This doesn't look like me at all. Well, otherwise, in general, this boss was very similar to you. By the way, did you notice that instead of bridges, a spiral staircase is used here? This is quite an interesting solution. I've never seen this before in modes similar to Barry's prison break. And now we will find ourselves in the toilet. Wow, it looks of course very cool, but it doesn't look like our toilet at all. We basically don't use the toilet at all. We are digital. We don't need to relieve ourselves. But they decided to make the dungeon in the style of the Glowing Queen's Nest. This looks very cool. But the only thing missing here is the Glowing Queen herself. It would be great if we had to run away from her here. This would be a very cool innovation. Who knows? Maybe we'll see her next. But I really like the way the design has been changed here. Everything really looks very similar to our circus. What's that pink liquid down there? Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Now we move on to the rolling boulder challenge, and unfortunately there is no Queen Gloink here either. Well, it's not a problem, because lately I've been so tired of her that I wouldn't even want to see her in games. I totally agree with you. I wouldn't really want to see her either because she could change our voices again. This really pisses me off. By the way, here is the staircase. Now we will find out who will be the next boss of this location. Everything indicates that it will be you, Zubal. Yes, that's how it is. Just look, you're really exactly the same here as in life. They made you look really similar. This boss has the same gloomy eyes as you. Wow, this is really me. Well, I'm very flattered that they decided to choose me as the boss knight. I'm very happy. I thought that they would choose anyone but not me. And it seems to me that I would be ideal for the role of the boss of a knight because I am a kinger, the king of knights. It seems to me that you can only be king of toy knights that you keep in your box and play with them. Then everyone goes to bed. Gangle, but I asked you not to talk about it. Well, now everyone will laugh and joke about this topic. Laugh as much as you want. My collection of knight figurines is worth $20,000. Really? These plastic Chinese men cost $20,000? Seriously? If I were you, I would think about buying us a new TV because I'm really tired of watching all our videos using my phone. By the way, guys, in addition to Kinger's strange hobby, there is another person in our circus with a strange collection. Just imagine, he collects plush elephants. Now you will see the shadow of this person on the screen and try to guess who it is. Pause the video and write your guesses in the comments. Well, have you already written? I hope that yes. And so the correct answer in three, two, one. That's right, it's Jax. Well, why did you tell everyone about this? Now everyone will laugh at this. When I was a child, I had a stuffed elephant whose name was Peter. I loved him very much. But one day, when I went to visit my grandmother, her dog secretly stole this elephant and tore this toy into small pieces. Since then, I really dislike dogs and collect stuffed elephants. But unfortunately, I have never seen one like Peter anywhere. I almost cried from this story, Jax. I didn't think that you were a person with such a refined soul. Well, I hope that someday you will definitely find exactly the same Peter as you had in childhood. Maybe you still have some photos? Yes! I only have one photo left, and this is the photo that helps me remember what he looks like. I've been trying to find the same stuffed elephant for many years, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to find anything. Well, okay. Let's not talk about sad moments and continue playing this game. We only have one valve left, and great, we did it! Well, let's move on now. In theory, a test awaits us next in which we will run through corridors with fans. Well, I really love this task because in it, the character develops enormous speed. By the way, yes. I completely forgot that this is the task ahead. Well, I'm sure that Jax will be able to pass it the first time because all he needs to do in this task is to press the jump button in time. It seems to me that the whole game here is to press the jump button at the right time. But nevertheless, this does not make her any less interesting and fun. 
In general, it seems to me that there are very few games like Barry's Prison Escape in Roblox. I'm practically not attracted to the other modes because there is nothing in them that would be interesting to me. Roblox has a huge number of interesting maps. There are cards based on anime, and there are cards based on TV series. That's why I like Roblox, because you can create your own game based on what you love very much. Now we will get to the location with the next boss. I'm very interested in who will be the chef's boss here. Let's quickly go and find out. Look! There is something in the distance! I think this looks a lot like Jax! Yes, it's Jax! Oh my god, why is he so tall? You need to quickly run away from him! By the way, why are we now jumping so high? I think this happened because of a bug. When we jumped in the wind tunnel, the game didn't count our landing, and now it still thinks that we stayed there, and therefore didn't remove the super jump buff for us. Get Jax! I've always dreamed of doing this! Great! We managed to kill him! Jax, how does it feel when you shoot by yourself? Do you like it? It's a little weird because I don't really look like the character they made. This Jax is very tall. I'm not that tall in real life. Although, maybe I would like to be like that. No need! Let's stay the same height as you are now, because if you get taller, we'll have to make the doorways even higher. And we simply don't have the budget for this. At least for now. Is it just me, or are we sliding down this slide very slowly? Yes! We even fly slowly. Perhaps this is due to a bug that allows us to jump very high. By the way, thanks to this bug, we quickly climbed to the very top. We didn't have to climb the stairs. And now we will climb the wind tunnel with lasers. Just look, they even went to the trouble of changing the colors of these lasers. This is very cool. I really, really like the design of this game because here, the creators didn't just recolor the textures, but added a huge number of new models. It really changed the game for the better. And now we have a test with bridges. But I think we won't use the bridges because we have a super jump, which means we can just jump over these platforms and go straight to the final boss mission. I wonder who will be the final boss. Just look! It's Kane the robot! Wow. They really tried hard and changed all the bosses in this game. They even changed the location and made the walls look like a circus fence. By the way, it's very cool that we have the ability to jump very high. This means that we can shoot at Kane while jumping, and he will not hit us with his hand minigun. Yeah, I really, really like the way they changed my model. I'm a real handsome guy here. By the way, I'm done with one hand. We only have to shoot at the second one. Come on, Jax! Do it! You only have a few shots left to finish this boss. By the way, we managed to complete it in less than 550 seconds. I think this is definitely a new record. I really like this mode. The creators of this map really tried very hard to completely change all the bosses and the location. I'm sure we'll play this mode again someday. Now let's move on to the next game.